Before the first glimpse, close your eyes. Imagine a time before stars, before galaxies, before atoms as we know them. A time when the universe was nothing but a seething, glowing soup of energy and particles. Then in an instant, the fog lifted. Light was born, and that light never stopped traveling. In 1965, two scientists stumbled upon it by accident, the afterglow of the Big Bang. It was the faintest whisper of the beginning of time, and it changed everything. This is the story of that light, the cosmic microwave background, and how one image transformed our understanding of the entire universe. The Echo of Creation the cosmic microwave background CMB is the oldest light in the universe, a fossil imprint from just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Before this moment, the universe was opaque. Photons, particles of light, couldn't travel freely. They were constantly bouncing off electrons and protons in a hot plasma. But as the universe expanded, it cooled. Electrons combined with protons to form neutral hydrogen atoms. And finally, light broke free. That moment, called recombination, allowed light to travel across the cosmos. And some of that light is still reaching us today. The Accidental Discovery In 1965, Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson were using a large radio antenna in New Jersey to study the Milky Way. But they kept picking up a strange, persistent noise. It came from every direction. It was always there, and they couldn't get rid of it. They tried everything, cleaned the antenna, checked their equipment, even removed pigeon droppings. But the noise remained. Unbeknownst to them, a group of physicists at Princeton had just predicted what this noise might be, the afterglow of the Big Bang. When the two groups connected, history was made. Pensius and Wilson had found the CMB, the first light of the universe. Mapping the oldest light. While the discovery was groundbreaking, the CMB looked boring at first to uniform background, the same in every direction. But scientists knew there must be tiny fluctuations, small temperature differences that seeded all the structure in the universe. Galaxies, clusters, you and me. In 1990, NASA launched the COBE satellite, which detected these variations. Then came WOMUP in 2001, and finally Planck in 2009. Each mission painted a more detailed picture of the infant universe, a snapshot of the cosmos at 0.003% of its current age. Reading the Code of the Cosmos The fluctuations in the CMB tell us everything. The age of the universe, 13, 8 billion years. Its composition, 5% matter, 27% dark matter, 68% dark energy. Its shape, almost perfectly flat. The seeds of structure, quantum fluctuations from the earliest moments. By analyzing the pattern of hot and cold spots, scientists have built the standard model of cosmology, the most successful description of our universe to date. The CMB acts like a cosmic DNA. It holds the genetic blueprint of everything that followed. The sound of the universe. Believe it or not, the early universe rang like a bell. As photons pushed against gravity, 
they created pressure waves acoustic oscillations in the primordial plasma. These ripples left imprints on the CMB, much like the overtones in a musical chord. These patterns tell us about the density and structure of the early universe. They help us measure cosmic distances and understand dark energy. In a way, the CMB isn't just light. It's sound frozen in time. A message from the beginning the photons we detect in the CMB have been traveling through space for nearly 14 billion years. Along the way, they passed galaxies, clusters, and massive objects, their paths warped by gravity. This bending of light gravitational lensing leaves fingerprints on the CMB, giving us a map of the dark matter web that connects everything. It's as if the universe sent us a message, not just about its birth, but about everything that's happened since. Beyond the Observable The CMB marks the edge of the observable universe. We can't see anything farther, because light from beyond hasn't had time to reach us, but that doesn't mean the universe ends there. It might go on forever or it might curve back on itself, or be one of many. The CMB is our horizon, the limit of what we can know. But it also hints that reality is far bigger, stranger, and more beautiful than we can imagine. The image that changed everything. In 2013, the European Space Agency released the most detailed image ever made of the early universe, Planck's CMB map. It showed, in exquisite detail, a baby picture of everything a snapshot from before stars, before galaxies, before life. And yet, within that image were the seeds of it all. It's hard to overstate how profound this image is. It connects us to the beginning, confirms our theories, and reveals mysteries still unsolved. The universe spoke, and we listened. The light that never faded. The cosmic microwave background is not just light, it's a message. A memory, a moment frozen in time. It reminds us that we live in a universe that had a beginning, that we are made from its echoes, that everything we see was once contained in a whisper of fire and light. And that light never stopped shining. Subscribe for more Cosmic Journeys. The universe is just getting started.